In this exercise, I will demonstrate how to exclude information until you actually click on something. This is very useful for analyzing summary and then subsequently detail level data that you might not want to see at first glance. So let's just duplicate this dashboard to save some time. We'll right click, duplicate sheet. And I'll just get rid of most of these visuals, but I will retain the map. And if you don't have the X option to close out a particular object, you could simply wait until the move symbol pops up, right click and choose remove. So I'm just removing these worksheets, but keeping the map. So now I'll stretch out our map and I'll set it back to all. So now we have a view of all the US states, nothing's being filtered out. But let's say I wanna see some detailed information, for example, why Montana has such a terrible average profit. Let's create a brand new worksheet and let's call this one map detail data. And I'll make sure I'm using the retail sales data source. So let's figure out what's going on. Let's add customer segment to rows, customer name to rows, the product category, product name. And how about the ship mode? So now we have just some random detailed data. And then we'll add profit onto text. And now let's go back to our dashboard. Dashboard two. And we'll pull in our map detail data worksheet. Plop that down here at the bottom and we'll stretch it across. Move our map up just a hair so we have a little bit more space. And we'll stretch out this table by changing the fit to be fit with. And now we can scroll down to see everything. But we don't want to see everything. We just want to see state specific detailed data. The key to doing that is using a dashboard action. Let's come up to dashboard, actions, add action, and choose filter. We'll call this filter view state detail data. And we know we're on dashboard two and we're targeting the map as our source, just the field map. So this top half of our dashboard, and we want our field map to target our detailed data. So go ahead and deselect everything that's not your detailed data. That looks good. We'll make sure that when we select a state that this table updates. And instead of showing all values, let's just choose to exclude all values. And you'll see what I mean in a second of how this works. Okay. Okay. So now when we click on, for example, Montana and then click off, we see our default layout for this dashboard. Currently nothing is selected up here. So nothing down here will show. Makes for a nice clean representation of data. So now when we click on, for example, Montana again, we're only seeing customers that live in the state of Montana. 
This allows us to dive a little bit deeper and see which products resulted in the lowest profits. Right here, this is a big loss, this Polycom view station. And obviously you can't tell that by simply just looking at the map. So by accessing this detailed data, you can quickly and easily dive right in and gain insight that you otherwise would not be able to. And now let's look at how quickly we can analyze a new state. We'll simply deselect Montana and click on Texas. And right away, now we're analyzing Texas. And you have complete freedom as far as what field you like to output inside of your detailed data worksheet. So I'll deselect Texas. We probably want to add a little bit of context down here. So we'll create a new line, change the font size to be smaller, maybe orange, and we'll say, please click on a state to view the detailed data and apply. So now when a user comes to this dashboard, they see, oh, okay, I just click on a state and then I can view the detailed data for that state. All I have to do is click on a state and I can quickly and easily view all the details. And that's how you can easily add the ability to exclude until clicked on your dashboards. Let's move on to our next exercise where we'll look at creating a story, which allows us to step another user through our analysis.